A number of years ago, I picked up a, a punching bag, and uh, when I first had this house built, I had the whole basement to myself. It was unfinished. There was nothing here. I have an I-beam that runs the full length of the house, and I had wrapped some rope around it, and I had hung my punching bag here. Uh, well, as you can see, since then, I've uh, put a lot of furniture here, so I'm going to have to move this thing somewhere. Now, the thing is, is that I never did like the way this was set up. First of all, I find it too low. I like for the punching bag to be up at least another, another a good foot, maybe even at least a good foot. Uh, the other thing is that it spins. Uh, easy fix, but the other thing that pissed me off was it it swings and I never really did like that. I like a punching bag to stay where it is. This is only a 75 pound punching bag so uh, I, I just want it to stay where it is. So uh, let me show you uh, um, the limited amount of room I have here. I'm going to show you uh, what my plan is. Well this seems to be about the only place in the basement where there's not as much furniture and uh, I don't have a lot of wiring and pipes running through so I think the punching bag is going to have to be mounted in this area here. So what I was thinking of doing was uh, uh, getting some uh, I've measured this. This is about uh, six and a half inches from here to here. As you can see, these beams are just like a little wooden I-beam. Uh, they've got a uh, particle board in the middle, some knockout holes for the wiring to go through. So I think that if I took some, some two by eights and then ripped them down to six and a half inches and sandwiched two of them, one on each side of these beams, I think uh, they will add a lot of support. I'll do one on this side, one on this side, and have something in the middle to, uh, to hang the punching bag on. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's the way I'm going to go. And um, let's uh, go into the workshop and see what we can come up with. So this is what I came up with. I took some 2 by 8s I cut them down to uh, six and a half inches uh, uh, each and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these uh, two on the insides of the floor joist and I'm going to put this one on the other side of the floor joist sandwiching the joist and I'm going to put a bunch of carriage bolts through and uh, bolt them all together and that should add a, a ton of support. Now initially I had made some, uh, this is just uh, some construction grade 2x4s that I had uh, planed and ripped to make it look a little nicer. Initially I wanted to only have two, um, one on each side, and I made these, I made these so they're 12 inch centers, 12 inches from center to center. Uh, but then I realized later on that I made a mistake with my calculations and uh, I'll show you uh, why. So when I first measured my punching bag, you can see the four hooks here that the chains go on. When I first measured it, it turned out to be one foot in diameter. So I made my two by fours to be one foot center to center. But then I realized, okay, uh, these two will hook on, but where are these ones going to be? Actually, I was intending to have, you know, uh, two of them on one two by four and the other two on the other two by four. So I shouldn't have measured across this way. I should have measured this way. So if I do that, it turns out that it's only eight and a half inches. So my two by fours are in the wrong place. So as you can see, that uh, that wouldn't have worked. So what I opted to do is I didn't didn't want to start all over, uh, throw uh, throw the wood in the scrap bin and start again. So what I opted to do was uh, fine. I'll just add a third two by four in here and I'll keep my 12 inch centers uh, for, for two of the uh, hooks and the other two will go here at 12 inches across. So I'll have my four uh, hooks uh, in here. So, uh, and I'm going to use uh, some eye hooks. I'm going to drill my holes through it, put these uh, through, and I've also got some, uh, what I'll, I call the master links. Um, 
I'll hook these onto the hooks and then my punching bag will hook onto it and this way there will be no chance of it uh, coming down. Um, I think this will be plenty strong for the 75 pound punching bag that uh, uh, for the weight of the punching bag I think it's going to be great. So uh, let's get back to it. So now I'm going to drill the holes uh, in the 2x4s for my uh, the eye bolts. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it inside my inside the joist here and I'm going to clamp it up there for now until I can get my holes pre-drilled and uh, then I can put my bolts through. Now I had to take the uh, braces down because uh, I knew I had to uh, because I would never be able to get these 2x4s in there um, with them on of course. Now I like to cut them in pretty fine tolerances so I measured quite accurately from the inside of this uh, joist to the inside of this joist and of course you can see you know it's not going to fit in that way um, and even if I try going like this so you'd have to kind of get them in in a bit of an ingenuity way twist them around and put them up and I'm going to do all three of them that way and then fit my braces back in and and move the supports around until they fall inside the uh, the cutaways inside the braces so that's what I'm going to do Just like that. Well, that's it. It's hung up four chains. As you can see, it doesn't spin. It pretty well stays where it has to be. And uh, I think I'm happy with it here. A little less furniture. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.